Greek numeration underwent several changes, but eventually a form of additive notation evolved where letters of the Greek alphabet represented amounts. So we'd have symbols for 1 through 9, for the tens from 10 to 90, and for the hundreds from 100 to 900. Now if you know anything about the Greek alphabet, you'll know it actually only has 24 letters in it, and we need 27 symbols. And as it turns out, we're in luck because there are three archaic letters that are no longer in use. So for 1 through 9, we have alpha through theta, where the symbol for 6 is one of the archaic letters, known as stigma. For 10 through 90, we have iota through another archaic letter known as kappa, and roughly equivalent to q. And for the hundreds, rho through a final archaic letter known as sampi. For the thousands, a mark would be placed before the corresponding digit, so mark alpha would be alpha 1000. So, for example, we might try to write the number 436 and then interpret two numbers. So, 436, 400 would be epsilon, 30 would be lambda, and 6 would be stigma. So, 436 would be epsilon, lambda, stigma. To decipher this number, we note that C is 700, kappa is 20, and eta is 8. So this would be 728. Finally for this number, gamma is 3, but putting the mark before it makes it represent 3,000. Omega is 800, kappa is 20, and zeta is 7. So this is 3,000. 827. Our number system is millesimal. We have unit names for amounts up to 1,000, and for higher values we express the number of thousands. So we talk about 37,000. The Greeks actually had a word for 10,000 which we translate as myriad. Well, it's not really a translation, the actual Greek word is myriad. Their numbering system might be called decimalesimal. They could express numbers up to 10,000, and then larger numbers were expressed by the number of 10,000s. This would be expressed by placing the number of myriads over a m. So for example, iota beta, that's 10 to 12, and iota beta over an m is 12 ten thousandths. And we'd actually call this number 120 thousands. So, for example, we could write a very large number or interpret a very large number. So, it helps to think of 175,284 as 17 ten thousands, 5,284. We're essentially moving the comma separator to the ten thousands place. Reading this, we'll need 17 ten thousands. So that's 10 and 7 iota zeta over m. We'll also need 5,284. So remember using the mark before a number will convert it to a number of thousands. So we need five thousands. So we'll mark epsilon. 200, sigma, 80, pi, and 4, delta, and so our number is written this way. The other number, so that's rho pi delta over m, so that's rho pi delta ten thousands, or 184 ten thousands, The other number, that's mark stigma 6,000, sampi 900, kappa 90, theta 9, 6,999, and all together, and 
placing our comma 1,846,999.